In this video, we'll be looking at the resources that you should buy for your nursery. We will go through the different items you may need for the different areas of your provision, as well as where you can get them from. For those that don't know, I run a nursery in London and I'm the creator of the course Open Your Nursery in just six months without a massive budget, which continues to help prospective nursery owners like yourself achieve their dream of owning their own nursery. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and remember that all links mentioned in the video can be found in the description box below. If you watched the last video on the cost of opening a nursery, you will know that it can cost anywhere between three and £10,000 to get resources for your nursery. If you haven't, head over there after you've watched this video. Buying resources is one of the areas of open a nursery where people's budgets can vary the most. Here we'll be going over what resources you can buy and where you can get them from. Although it's your decision to buy whatever you want, I would always suggest getting good quality items as opposed to a lot of cheap plastic. As plastic toys and resources don't usually last very long and you'll probably have to replace them quite regularly. At the end of the video, I will also let you know my three favourite things I have bought from my nursery. So make sure you stick around to the end. Quick advice before we get started, you should make sure that every resource that you buy for the nursery are the following four things. Age appropriate, you should make sure you have different toys and resources for the different age groups you'll be caring for, separated into babies, toddlers and preschool. Educational, they should serve a purpose in helping develop children. Items that have multi-purpose are best. Reliable. They should be good quality, you don't want to have to keep replacing cheap toys. Try not to get too much plastic and opt for natural products like wood. Fun. They should be fun and help encourage children's engagement. Now onto items you could buy for your nursery. I'll separate these into three different areas. Your baby room, your toddler and preschool rooms and your outdoor space. I will also quickly list some things you can buy for your office, staff room and kitchen and then list where you can buy these items. So firstly your baby room. As mentioned in my previous video, how to open a nursery in the UK, you will need a separate room for babies. Some of the resources that you will need include cots, beds, chairs, low tables, baby seats, changing mats, aprons, which you found some good ones on gompels.co.uk, sensory items and sensory toys, some examples of which are on the screen now, rattles, role play items like a kitchen, Age appropriate puzzles, making sure that they are easy and large enough for babies to grip to develop their fine motor skills. Cause and effect toys, water and sand play and messy play. You have to remember that your baby room will be from ages 6 months or possibly younger until 2 years old. So you need to have resources that enable the physical development between these ages for babies that are still lying to those sitting to crawling to standing and climbing and walking. Whilst they are still sitting, having sensory baskets and stuff that they can grab and play with within their immediate reach is essential. You can attempt to make your own baby room resources to save money. For example, we made our own baby activity board and black and white tent area. This list should be enough to get you started in your baby room. Moving on to your toddler and preschool room. Some items you need to include are your arts and crafts, which can include loads of different things like paint, chalk, pens, aprons, pencils, easels, scissors, paper, chalk, junk modeling resources, glitter, play-doh, etc. You get the idea. Though on junk modeling, you can get some junk modeling resources for free from your local scrap store. And with your play-doh, you should make your own. There's loads of examples of how to make your own play-doh on Google, though we have one on our website as well. Next you will need construction items like building blocks, duplo, lego, stickle bricks, role play items like dolls, kitchens, pots and pans, cars, train tracks, animals, dressing up clothes, sand and water play, so like sand trays, obviously sand, sand toys, water toys and sand hats, and other items like ICT toys, computers, books, puzzles, musical instruments, etc. There's lots you can fill your toddler and preschool room with, just make sure all the resources are age appropriate. Though I always feel with adult supervision, most toys are. Finally, your outdoor space. On the screen are examples of some nursery gardens. The emphasis on outside now is primarily on physical development and understanding of the world. So make sure you fill your garden with lots of physical toys like bikes, balls, skipping ropes, tricycles, scooters, climbing frames, sand and water play, large paintbrushes, slides and seesaws, as well as role play and exploration items like a playhouse. Though keeping your outside space quite natural is important with planting and digging opportunities and potentially a mud kitchen. All of this will give you an idea of some items you will need for your nursery. As you grow, you'll naturally add more things to your rooms and outdoor space. Other items you'll need to get, for example, for your office, staff room and kitchen are kitchen supplies like pots and pans, plates, cutlery, cleaning supplies, bins, fridges, ovens, freezers, and office and staff room supplies like chairs, tables, desks, laptops, printers, tablets, stationery, shelves, filing cabinets, laminators, shredders, etc. So make sure you add this to your budget. 
If you do need help with your budgeting, we have a section on the starter course which has a downloadable document where you can input this information. This course is usually $14.99 but you can get it for just £4.49 with the discount code YouTube2. Before we get into where to buy the items, please take a moment to hit that like button. It really helps support the channel. And if you want to see more videos on how to open a nursery, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then the notifications bell to get informed of when more videos come out. Thank you. Now onto where to buy. Once you know what resources you want to buy, you can start looking for where to buy them. Make sure you have a list of the resources you want so that when you go shopping, you are able to stick to your budget and not overspend. Some places that I've found good resources are places like Gompels, they sell toys and resources, but also have day-to-day -day stuff like gloves, wipes, aprons, tissues, etc. You can also get nursery and office equipment from places like B&Q, Staples and Ikea. Ikea in particular have a good selection of storage equipment, furniture and some good wooden toys. Other places you can buy nursery toys and equipment from are Bambino Planet, Early Years Resources, TTS Group. Now these sites can be a little expensive, though just browsing these websites can also help you get ideas for more items to buy. You can also find a lot of bargains on sites like eBay, Amazon, Gumtree, Spock and Facebook Marketplace. Car boot sales, charity shops and nurseries that are closing down are also great places to get resources. You can find some really good quality second hand items from these places, though it is important to make sure they are in good condition as you don't want to open your brand new nursery with old dusty items. Now onto my three favourite items that I bought for my nursery. But before I get onto that, I wanted to quickly remind you that you can continue your learning after the video by enrolling on the course, How to Open a Nursery, The Starter Guide. For just £4.49 using discount code YouTube2, you can learn how to save over 70% to open your nursery, create a survival budget, work out how much it will cost to set up, create your business plan, and learn more about the seven steps you need to do to open. Now the three favourite items I've purchased from my nursery and get lots of engagement from children are the soft play bricks which I got from Gompels, the kitchen role play which I got from Studio and a tough tray where you can get from loads of places but I found cheapest on eBay. Before you go make sure you check out my other videos to learn more about opening a nursery. Thanks for watching and good luck on your journey and dream of opening your nursery. God bless and I'll see you on the next video.